I am Chantal Alex. I work in a nursing home. I go to college for nursing, and I'm also a transsexual woman. Hi, I'm Ralph Betters. I'm a Texan, uh, I'm a gay man, I'm a pediatrician, and I take care of LGBT transgender youth. I am Reuben Hopwood. I am a father of twins. I am a Midwesterner. I am a spouse. I am a religious and spiritual person and I run the Trans Health Program at Fenway Health. I'm Daniela. Um, I'm a public health nerd. Um, I work at Fenway. Um, I'm femme, Jewish, and an ally to the trans community. I'm Joanne Herman. I'm a wife and a stepmom. I'm a financial accounting professional. I'm a big supporter of Fenway Health. I'm a member of the Fenway Health Board of Directors and I'm a transgender woman. My name is Melissa. Um, I am a home decorator. Um, I am fabulous, and um, I am here to be a big sister for younger trans girls because I am a trans woman. When I started work at the Borum, we already had a pretty significant practice supporting transgender youth, uh, and it's continued that way since we've become part of Fenway Health. Uh, there's a support and a commitment from the medical team, the behavioral health team, our patient services team, all of us together trying to make sure that we're able to support youth as they try to define and express their gender in the way that makes them safest and strongest and happiest. And we, we want to make sure that we're, we're doing this in a way that makes sure that trans youth are uh, safe and healthy at every point along the way and every part of their life. We work with the kids, we work with the families, we work at the schools if we need to. And, and in general we know, and I've seen it, I see it every day, that trans kids do great. They do fine. And that's uh, the best part of my job is that I know um, that they do well and I, and I play a part, a small part in that. My name is Mick Rurick. I'm a GLBTQ affirmative therapist at the SUNY Borum Junior Health Center, which is part of Fenway Health. Um, I'm also Floridian. I am an owner of two cats and a dog. Um, and I'm also a proud member of the transgender community. My name is Rachel. I'm a clinician at the Borum. I'm passionate about sexual health education. I'm a fierce Scrabble player. And I'm an ally in the trans community. We've gone from seven years ago, we had one provider providing care, to now every provider in the, the facility provides trans care, and it's more than 30 people. And so we've expanded that tremendously. We've reduced the, uh, the limitations around you know, restrictions for getting people into care and getting access to hormone treatment. We've gone from one of the most restrictive kind of programs to one that is the, one of the least restrictive under an informed consent model. And uh, the, the, the kind of testament to what a positive change that's been and what excellent service that's been is that a year ago the behavioral health um, program and the medical program that it is was used as one of the three that is the model on which they've based uh, the World Professional Association for Trans Health has based the new standards of care internationally so now our program is affecting in a positive way affecting the care that's being offered to people worldwide and I'm really excited to be able to be a part of that my name is Julie. I am a trans health provider. I am a soccer player. I am a dog lover and I am also an ally of the trans community. My name is Carla. I'm a mother and a wife and I've been caring for the transgender community for the past eight and a half years. I'm Melissa Savage. I'm a therapist here at Fenway Health and an addiction specialist. I'm a partner, I'm a pet lover, and I'm also an activist and committed to civil rights for transgender people. My name is Amanda. I am a parent. I am a community member. I am a chef. I also work for the Violence Recovery Program at Fenway. And I also am an ally and advocate for my transgender brothers and sisters. I'm Daniel. I work at Fenway in the research department. I am a flag football player. I am a softball player. And I am a friend of a transgender person. About two years ago, um, my partner at the time, who's trans, um, got a spider bite and we had to go to the emergency room. And we were exhausted and scared and he was in horrible pain and the, everyone kept asking um, why he was on testosterone and um, couldn't understand why 
Um, he needed it and we kept having to explain over and over what trans was and in this moment when we just needed medical care and support we were educating healthcare professionals and it felt really scary and really unfair. It makes me feel really good to work at a place where patients don't have to explain what trans is to their doctor um, and I hope that someday soon no one will ever have to explain what that is to a doctor um, anywhere. My name is Gustavo. I'm a proud Mexican-American. I'm a born and raised Californian. I'm an activist and I'm also a friend and ally of the trans community. Hey there, my name is John Vincent. I work at the Fenway Institute and I'm married to a guy named Mike and I work on old cars and I like dogs and uh, I have a bunch of programs that I work on here with transgender folks and it's been one of the most enlightening, enriching parts of my career. A lot has been happening for transgender people since I've been on the board and it's almost as if my mere presence on the board is allowing staff to go ahead and propose those projects and services for trans people that they've been thinking about and for management to go ahead and incorporate those things into their plans. One of my colleagues recently had the opportunity to review the plans for the new mammogram area that's going to be available at Fenway shortly. She saw right away that the dressing area design might present a problem for some trans people. How cool is that to have an ally on the board? My name is Sarah, I work at Fenway Health, I'm a gardener, I'm a crafter, I'm from the South, and I'm also married to a transgender person. Well, my previous job was Bank of America Corporation Office. And then when I was ready to transition in the workplace, I went to HR and I had a conversation with them about changing my um, identification and also changing my name usage. You know, pronouns going from he to she. And, you know, they weren't accepting my identity or they weren't, you know, open-minded to me being changed into Melissa. I'm so happy that we have a place like Fenway Health where it's more open-minded and it's more like comfortable to be yourself. Everyone loves you for who you are, whether you want to be he or she, like everyone is just okay with it. And that's, I guess that's what the beauty of working for Fenway Health is. So I, <laughs> I guess I'm blessed. So. My name is Sari and I am a family member and a brother. I am a researcher, PhD student, I'm a proud member of the life skills team, I'm a total nerd, and I'm also a trans guy. My name is Amelia Dunham. I'm a study coordinator on the study life skills at Fenway, and I'm also a commissioner on the Mass Commission on LGBT Youth. My partner and I have a beautiful cat, Cleopatra. I love musicals, and I'm also a trans woman. So basically, when I started working in the nursing home, before it, I was a little scared to go and apply, and they actually call me when they see my my resume. They call me like right after that. They say, "Oh, we need you here." So I went. In the beginning, it was a little, you know, scared for me with the people, cause I respect everybody, so they respect me. And but and I didn't have any friends in the work. But now, I'm one of the most popular girls. My life as a, as a trans woman, it's been a pleasure because my family supports me a lot. I have a little brother who loves me so much. He calls me sister all the time. My father, my mom, they all great, all my family. I also have like a second family, which is uh, life skills and Fenwick community. Because I, when I'm there, when I'm, you know, with those people, so I feel like they're my family too. They appreciate the way, I, the way I am, you know? I want people to know that when you, don't be afraid about what you like or like whatever you wanna be in life because it's no hard when you know what you want and you go for it, you know? Cause it's a lot of people like, oh, I'm different so people's gonna be judging me and everything. No, it's, it's about you. For me, my transition was the best thing that I have ever because it made me feel like this is me, you know, this is me.